Seize upon thee. La, 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 Another la, la, beer is hit the hands of FLX Beer Reviews. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, what is this delicious bottle? This is a bottle of beer that's going to be probably presented on As the Beer Swirls. That's our series where we review beer, and hopefully you like watching it. I don't know. Uh, this is from the Trogues mm. Brewing Company. Okay. Uh, this is their Grand Cacao. Cacao. Cacao? Cacao? No, it's not a, it's C-A. So it's cacao. It's a cacao. It's a chocolate stout. Yeah. It's brewed with cacao and milk sugar. Cocoa. I'm triggering somebody. Somebody's sitting there, say cacao. <laughs> say it. <laughs> it's probably Joe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, yeah, 6.5 ABV, uh, freshest by 126.22. Well in so, range. Yeah. Uh, 12 fluid ounces. Peruvian cacao nibs, vanilla, milk sugar, hops, or galena. Okay. Uh, it says, welcome to Grand Cacao. This deliciously decadent stout is built on a foundation of rich chocolate malt, caramel malt, oh. and roasted barley. Cold mm. steeping on Peruvian cacao nibs and natural vanilla doubles down on the smooth symphony of chocolate and a splash of milk sugar. It delivers a velvety, sweet, and creamy finish. We'll be the judge of that. Don't bully us, Trogues. God dang right. Uh, Pick this up with the mix of six and Wegmans. Of course you did. Uh, if you're anything like us, uh, you enjoy a fine stout. Especially when it's stout season. Oh, gosh. S- I love stout S-Z-N. season. S-Z-N. I don't know how I did with the pouring. We'll see. That's all right. No, it doesn't Give it a little well. harsh one. Um, It'll stick. That's all right. Uh, so... What? Not that we're using insanely proper glass yeah. right here, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, whatever. Uh... I don't think it's local either. I don't think it is. <laughs> Fuck. No. Uh, uh, I remember this whole thing. Hershey Park. Hershey okay, so we're fairly local. Yeah, yeah, Hershey whatever. Park is it's whatever. fine. Uh, what have you had from Trogues? Tell me your history, Mike. What we show. I have had house. things from Trogues, and I couldn't tell you what, but I know I've had. Uh, that is dark as uh, that is friend me. Ryan Soul, and yeah, the hat is there. Stick around. Slight khaki color. Yeah, and there is just. The tiniest bit of brown coming through, so I'm, but it's a very dark beer. Like, it is exactly what mm-hmm. you, I want my stout to look like. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah, you give it a nice swirl. It's got a... It's khaki, but it's a little brown. Coffee. Mm-hmm. Coffee-ish. The, the beer looks like cola, basically. Yeah, you know, based off what they said, it, I mean, the head looks velvety. Right? Absolutely. And this beer... Uh, We've had it warming on the counter, so it yeah, should be... It's been out for, like, two days. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's get a whiff. Yeah. Ooh. That oh, one's yeah. got some chocolatey aspects to it. That's some dark chocolate, roasty malts. Well, Hershey's aspect to it. So I know there's I a, so. I know there's another brewery out there that makes a Hershey's Porter. Right. Oh, who makes that? Yeah. Anyway. I heard they're in the battle for Pennsylvania. <laughs> you make the best chocolate. <laughs> it's got a little Hershey's aspect to it. Uh, I, it's got a very bitter nose on it, and I love that from a stout uh, that isn't barrel aged. I'm getting that milk sugar. It's, Are it's, you? Yeah, it's like a milk chocolate. <laughs> we, I... I I feel like it's the beginnings of uh, anytime we do a heavier beer or stuff, we just spend it's just all right, all it. the let's things. So let's, uh, let's try it. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Mm. Oh, the chocolate's coming through. Man, that's that's odd, though. That's odd to me. That's so odd. <laughs> Ooh, I'll bite. What's odd, Dan? Thanks for asking. What is odd to me? Like the mouthfeel? Mm-hmm. Like okay, that's where I was gonna go. It is a velvety smooth experience. But then I remember, hey, this is only 6.5 ABV. But then I take the sip and I'm expecting the velvety like mouthfeel to have some heft to it, but it comes off light. It's very light. So it's weird. So it's like Yeah. This Rich, creamy, velvety head, and just mouthfeel. It's just all there. And you just prepare for that half, and then you drink it, it's and it, 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 you swallow a pilsner. It's it's <laughs> a deceiving beer. Um, 
you almost have to keep telling yourself that it's a low ABV beer because you want it to have kind of some heft behind it. <laughs> there, there isn't. Honestly, that's, you could crush this. And not for nothing, I would because it's delicious. Uh, it's got a very drying, roasty, dark chocolate aspect, like <coughs> like baker's chocolate or powdered chocolate. Yeah, but you know the thing about the baker's chocolate? I feel like it's it's not quite getting there for me. No? No, oh, I, 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 see, I'm getting more milk I, chocolatey. See, I, I'm kind of, that's why I was throwing out a couple, because one sip I'll get the baker's chocolate, one sip I'll get, like, powdered chocolate, then I'll get a little bit of sweet milk chocolate to it, so it's kind of running the gambit of chocolate like this, for me. Like a Cadbury kind thing to it, you know? You ever just Cadbury chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's like a mix between Hershey's and Cadbury, I think. Um, I think... Do you think okay, it's... Okay, so, so when you think stout, like when you think of a dessert stout like this with, with, where chocolate is up front, you, you think of a sitting back after dinner, enjoying a dessert stout and sipping on it. Whereas this, I think like you were saying earlier, I, I kind of want to chug. Like I don't want to sip it. And that kind of is You know, I think this might fit the wanting. bill if I want a stout, but I don't want to be, like, I don't want to be filled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quite as easy. Yep. Although, it's almost desserty though, because... It the, is desserty. The, there's a... there's a The chocolate aspect, it, is the beer's warming still? It's, even though it's been sitting on the counter for two days, it's we're, still we're gonna coming get, out. We're going to get sued when I say this. Okay. All right. There's, the sweetness is very omnipresent. <laughs> Like friggin' schoolhouse rock up in here, um, yeah. I, I I agree with you. I think it's a, it's an easy drinking dessert beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'll tell you what. If you see this, uh, like I, like I said, I picked this up in the mix of six pack at Wegmans. So at ten ninety nine twelve pack with bottle deposit and tax and all that, you're paying about a buck eighty eight for a beer. So if you see this for a buck eighty eight. You can't go wrong. I was just going to say, if if you are getting into stout season like mm -hmm. we are, and you just want to pick up a myriad of dark, mm -hmm. roasty, desserty stouts, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with and throwing I, this in your mix. And I'll tell you what, Trogues has some hefty distribution. Yes, they so do. So chances are, we're, we're from the western New York area, uh, Rochester-ish, mm -hmm. right? Uh, this stuff is everywhere. Uh I assume a lot of people can get Trogues, and that's kind of why I wanted to review it. Because mm. I wanted to review something a lot of people can get their hands on, and for probably pretty cheap. Yeah. Because I know Wegmans is not the only store that does mix of six, or you got bottle shops that you can just grab yeah. one and try it. It's just definitely the season. Hey, holidays, grab this, uh, grab this to have with your meal during Absolutely. Like Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving or oh, yeah. afterwards or... Hey, or throughout the cold... Dude, wait. can you imagine like this paired up maybe with a pumpkin pie? Just kind of... I wish you hadn't said that because now I'm fine. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give it a 3.95. Okay, I was going to give it a 3.8. Okay. Like, I, I think it, it's it, the same. And I, same to mine. Don't take that the wrong way because this is a solid beer. Yeah. It, it is right there. I highly recommend it. So, uh, the FLX stamp of stout approval. Sure. Whatever that means because we've reviewed one stout per year. Uh, yeah, they don't really go well. <laughs> no. We're going to try to write that wrong. So. Uh, untaps. Description down below is our untap links. Also, our Twitter link and Instagram. But if you don't feel like clicking down below, Instagram right slash click. FLX Beer Imagine. Reviews. Twitter slash on FLX Beer Reviews. Yeah. We're, we're, we're places. Yeah. Smash that like button. Give us a subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Uh, hey, join us. Please. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh. Cheers. Cheers.